What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Viridian Forest, caught ourselves a new Pokemon. Not so new. Hope none of you guys are yelling at me through this. I promise you guys, there's going to be a lot more Pokemon. Just got to trust me. Anywho, in this episode, yes, we're going to be going up against a Bu a Pewter City Gym Leader Brock. Off screen, I couldn't believe how much money I had. Yeah, I didn't have a lot. Uh, so, we're going to have to go at it with just one Pokemon. And a backup of Pokemon disadvantages right here. So, let's go right ahead and, well, we already have Leonardo in the front. We're going to be taking on Brock the Gym Leader right here. Talking to this guy, he's going to be like, Hi, do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming a Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you from the top. All right, let's have let's get this happening. The first Pokemon out in the match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of the Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. And, well, as you guys can see, the leader is named Brock, and, well, Gary is always ahead of us. And, uh, yeah, that, that kind of just, like, you know, it's irritating. So, let's go right ahead and start battling everybody. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Really? Am I really? Bring it. So, here we go. Camper Liam wants to battle. He does have himself a Geodude. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with Lib Bubbly attack. Lib Bubblies. Ready and bam. Look at that. Okay, Geodude. Not so good. So I'm feeling good about this one right here. Leonardo grows to level 12. It's looking like a pretty cool turtle. All right, look at that. And, well, here he comes out with a Sandshrew, a ground-type Pokemon. So, just be aware, guys. Grass-types, water-types, they're the best types for this gym right here. If you guys have chosen a Charmander, just be aware that at level 14 or 15, it does gain the move Metal Claw just to... You know, cheat its way out of here because we all know rock type Pokemon are not are not strong against these uh, these steel type Pokemon that were introduced in Generation Two and all that crap. So look at this, Bubble, Bubble Attack does it, Bubble Attack does it. Look at that, and almost almost gains to level 13. And this guy's figuring it out that yes, we're the next guy right here. So without wasting a uh, a potion. I am gonna go straight to the. Uh, I'm gonna go straight to the Pokemon Center real quick just to heal up my Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back in the gym, and uh, let's go ahead and take on our old buddy Brock. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. Giggity. And that's right, my Pokemon are all rock type Pokemon. We're all rock hard every single time. <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the Pokemon, or that's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Okay. I think you guys already know what, what I'm going to say right here, so I'm going to say it. I love this song. Okay, so here it is, guys. Gym battle number one against Pokemon gym leader Brock, the rock type trainer. And yes, he's going to be coming out with some rock type Pokemon because they're all rock hard. Let's go with Lip Bubbly Attack. So, like I said before, guys, your best bet to get through this first gym is through a grass type or a water type. You choose a Charmander, you're going to have to train it up to level 14 and 15, or 15, I should say, to get a steel type move. And look at that, Leonardo has just learned Water Gun. So that right here, that right there is gonna help me just a bit more. So we're gonna take away Bubble and we're gonna teach it Water Gun. That way it actually helps me out more because yeah, that Bubble Attack is not doing anything. It wasn't, <laughs> hell, it wasn't even slowing down the Pokemon right here. So here's Brock's final Pokemon, Onyx. And, uh, well, it has the first move since it's faster, but here we go. Water gun attack. And that is it. That's how you do it. One hit, wonder. Bam. Level 14. That's how you handle business. Gattaca. Okay. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer, you, confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Throwing out that peace on, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. 
Boulder Badge for the win. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables you to use the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. And we get much more monies because, well, we need more monies. Wait! Take this with you. We get ourselves our very first TM. It is TM39. And, of course, he's explaining to us that in Generation 3, TMs, you can only use it once. So just be sure to, you know, pick the right Pokemon for this whole thing. So, TM39 is Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. There are all kinds of trainers in this huge world of ours. You appear to be very gifted as a Pokemon trainer, so let me make a suggestion. Go to the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. You don't know me. Just as I thought, you're Pokemon Champ material. Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Before we do anything, guys, we gotta get something very, very important. And it is, uh... It's definitely this. Let's go right ahead and get ourselves some running shoes because we definitely need to know how to run right here. Let's go, come on, run, and there he is, the Professor's aide. He's gonna notice us. Oh, Draven, I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. And bam, we get ourselves the running shoes. Finally, we can run. Well, I must, be, I must get going get back to the lab. Bye-bye. And uh, well, after that, we're gonna get a note right here. It says, Dear Draven, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer you, or cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mama. That's right. So it looks like we won twice. We have literally won twice right here. Anywho, let's run. Let's walk away. Yes, it is a very, very short episode, guys. I get it. I know you guys wanted more. But now that we have our very first badge, and now that, you know, we can do stuff like run... The next episode is going to be not just one, but two things, and that is the next route, and of course, the the whole event at Mount Moon. So stay tuned, guys. We have a long adventure ahead of us, and yes, the speed button will be playing into effect, so yeah, we're going to have some fun. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being supportive and all that stuff. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, yes, there it is, the heart button right there. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.